So there's a lot of people talking about vaccines right now. And of course, the coronavirus vaccine, it's a, an amazing breakthrough. And uh, I've been doing a lot of reading both on the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine. And I've been reading some, you know, well-respected peer-reviewed sources like the New England Journal of Medicine and their article, but also been reading the social media comment sections. And I'll be honest with you, it's really kind of hard to know what the truth is about this vaccine. <clears throat> it is a RNA vaccine. So we know that that is a ribeye nucleic acid vaccine. So because it's based on a ribeye, vegetarians are going to want to be careful. It also uses a lipid nanoparticle to deliver the mRNA into our cells. And we all know that nanoparticles is another word for nanobots. So that is also a little bit suspicious. And then what about the storage temperatures? We know that this needs to be transported and stored at extreme temperatures. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine is about a negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative 70 to 72 degrees Celsius, which is about 215 degrees Kelvin Klein. So why do we need to store it at such low temperatures? <clears throat> so I got, a, I got a sample of the vaccine. And what I've done is I've taken it, I've let it thaw out, I have let it come to room temperature, reconstitute itself, put it in a centrifuge, try to break down some of the constituent components, and you're not going to believe what you see. So here it is. Because the vaccine expanded at the higher temperature, I had to use a larger syringe to draw out the same amount that was in the vaccine. We're just going to pull it out a little bit here, dump it down here, and... Whoa, this is kind of shocking. I mean, what do we have here? We've got, oh yeah, 5G tracking devices, some type of microphone here. Oh my God, embryonic cells. What is this? Property of Bill Gates. This is exactly what we thought it would. Hold on. Hello? Someone here? Hey, how'd you, how'd you get in here?